Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense announced on September 15, 2023, at the Taipei Aerospace and Defense Industry Exhibition, that the XT-112 rifle, designed to replace existing military firearms, is on track for completion by the end of the year. The Armaments Bureau confirmed that the rifle, entirely engineered and manufactured in Taiwan, boasts several enhancements over its predecessors, the T-91 and T-65K2 models. The barrel of the XT-112 is more robust than those of the T-91 and T-65K2, contributing to its superior accuracy. According to Lee, the XT-112 achieves shot groupings of 9.8 cm at a 100 m range, compared to the T-91's 14.5 cm at the same distance. The weapon features four firing modes, safety, semi-automatic, two-shot bursts, and fully automatic. It is also chambered in 5.56 mm and comes with a 30-round magazine. The XT-112 also introduces ergonomic improvements. Features like the selector lever, magazine release button, and cocking handle latch are ambidextrous, offering easy access for both left-handed and right-handed users. In contrast, these controls were one-sided on earlier models. Moreover, the rifle's rail mount complies with international standards, providing greater flexibility for attaching accessories. Users can now mount grenade launchers, sights, and laser aiming modules at various points along the rail, unlike the fixed positions available on previous models. The XT-112 also incorporates a built-in, retractable bipod in the foregrip, facilitating low-posture shooting. The magazine features a transparent casing for quick ammunition level checks and is constructed from a composite plastic material, enhancing its durability and reducing the likelihood of jams. This is a marked improvement over the aluminum magazines used in the T-91 and T-65K2 models. Additionally, the XT-112 comes standard with a steel flash suppressor featuring indentations at the tip, allowing it to serve as both a melee weapon and a wire cutter. Such features were only available upon request in older models. Pending successful operational tests later this year, the XT-112 is slated to gradually phase out existing rifle models across Taiwan's military services.